Hi everyone, it's Tammy and happy to um, do podcast number, I, I didn't write it down, I thought I did, 11. Yay! So we are on podcast number 11 for my knitting stuff. Um, I'm going to write that down on my little notes. I do take notes, but I don't take very good ones apparently. <laughs> so let's see. About me, my name is Tammy. I live in Indiana. I have been knitting for just over a year and I am addicted. I think it's safe to say I love it. I have been um, a crafter for most of my life, but I love the fiber arts and it is fantastic. So I am drinking some coffee and then I also have some Pinsy's Hot Chocolate, which is a spice company that's around here and they also do online. So it's P-E-N-Z-E-Y-S. They have wonderful spices. They have something that they call the world's best pepper and it truly is amazing pepper, which I know sounds really weird maybe, but it is so good. And this is their hot chocolate and they have it that you could like pour it in. It's just a little thing. I think it's two tablespoons per cup but what I like to do is just put maybe a teaspoon in with my coffee and it's just delicious so mm, that is what I am drinking and it is Saturday my daughter is home from college and she just left to go to a wedding her aunt I guess my ex-husband's sister is getting married so Katie left to go to that and Dennis is sleeping upstairs still. So I am home, not alone, but I'm home. I have my cat over here and I have another cat and a dog upstairs. And my son is at his friend's house. So here I am. But the finals went well, I think. And I'm glad that kids are doing well and are on break now. So let's get started, I guess. What am I wearing? I am wearing this really cute, um, Celtic braided uh, cowl or scarf, I'm not sure what to call it, that I made, um, actually I think I made it in August, let me show you maybe a little better. So I mean it's, it's, I think it's really cute. It is bulky, so it is warm and um, it's nice. I like it, I like this color. Um, I do have it on my project page in Ravelry and I have been doing lots of my project pages on Ravelry. Uh, I've been updating Ravelry a lot. I have lots of, I think all of my projects on there, most all of them, um, since last year. And I was looking at them and I have like 93 or 94 projects. It's crazy to think I have that many. Hold on, my husband is awake. Hey honey, I'm podcasting. Thank you. <laughs> He's a goofball. So um, I don't have very many finished objects that I can show you because I have a pair of mittens that I've already wrapped for Katie that I finished, but I showed you where I was last time. I had one to finish and a thumb, I, and both my thumbs, but I think I, I know I got them done. So I got those done. And another finished object was um, ear warmers for Katie and her roommate. I've already given them to her, so she has them. I actually just finished them this morning. I should have asked her for them, but um, they're probably upstairs in our room and I could get them, but it's not that big of a deal. I'll put some pictures at the end so you can see what they looked like. They were really quick knits. Took a little over an hour to make one, <clears throat> but they were really cute. And I think that's all that I've finished. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I have a baby sweater right here. So I finished this baby sweater. Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys. That was my cat. <laughs> uh, so my husband wakes up, the other cat comes down. It's just, everything changes. No, it was, well the woo jumped over and then Jambo jumped over and because he saw the woo, so. <sighs> craziness. All right. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> All right. So I finished this little baby sweater and it is too cute. 
so I haven't put buttons on it yet I'm kind of waiting for buttons um, I don't need this yet for sure but it is really cute I used Malabrigo Rios in the colorway lettuce and it is a leaf pattern that was free on Ravelry and it had long sleeves but I made them short and I just put the little um, seed stitch on the edging and then the back has just the seed stitch on the edging it is just adorable and it takes less than a skein to make this size which was the 6 to 12 months I believe so it is really cute I really like it and then you can put either one button here or you can put a cup whoops this is folding in you can put you know as many buttons as you want down the side and I like how it's off center I just think it's really cute so that is my my biggest little finished object for this time um, I do have cast on itis but I am trying to refrain although I did cast on something new and it's not this it is in this bag and it is beautiful it is a cowl and where's my instructions it is an espace trico pattern called the cooler side of warm and it is a cowl that I am doing in wolf oak luft yarn and they only have numbers for their colorways, so let me tell you what the color is. Their number, the number that I'm using is L9. So it is Wolfolk Luft, and it is luxurious. It feels so nice. It is just wonderful, beautiful yarn, and. It's a free pattern that is just beautiful I think it's just amazing so I am working on that I'd say I'm probably a third of the way done maybe maybe a little bit more than that between a third and a half so um, it's a really easy knit and this yarn makes it wonderful because it feels so good on your hands so I have that going and then and I love this little bag and that cute with the little hedgehog oh. And then I have my sunset, I think that's what it's called, Sunset Shawl by Hohi Locatelli. And I'm doing the smaller version. There's a larger version and a smaller version. And I'm doing this one. And I am using Malabrigo Rios again because I love it. And I'm using the colorway Chris, K R I S. And I needed some help with this because I could not figure out the pattern as to how I mean I did the whole like the top part and this is how it will go but I could not figure out how to add this ruffly part on and I there was a part of the ruffly part that I didn't understand and how it connected to this but um, it is it I I went to my local yarn shop and I spoke with somebody there named Cindy who actually had to ask somebody else so that made me feel good that she wasn't quite understanding it either and then so I got it all figured out and I am not quite halfway but this will mark the halfway spot so I'm not far from halfway and I love it it's a very fun pattern to do and it's very fun to knit I am enjoying it a lot I did mess up right here where I missed hooking it onto like I didn't so you can see a big hole I didn't hook this part onto this because you do that as you go so I messed up but I'm thinking that I can go through and um, fix it when I'm done so that's my plan and you do have to use two sets of needles for this one of them just has the stopper on it but then you need three needles to actually do it so it's a different kind of a pattern but it's a lot of fun I I was nervous about it but I'm really really enjoying it I can see myself making this again but I have so many things in my queue it's unbelievable um, 
Another thing that I'm still working on is the dreidel, dreidel, dreidel shawl. Looks like this. And I know you're going to be surprised that I'm using Malabrigo Rios. And I'm using Indecta. And Reflecting Pool. And one more color. That maybe I didn't save the... for it doesn't look like I saved the thing but again it's probably on my it is on my Ravelry page Ravelry page um, the Indicta one is so this is the one I'm not sure the colorway but um, this one is reflecting pool this one the blue and then this one is the Indicta and then this is my third color and I am probably about halfway done with this one too and it's really cute I really like it and it has some I can't stretch it out all the way because I don't have long needles on here but th this is like some eyelets in here so there's a little bit of hopefully you can see this holes oh and this is the front I guess I should show you that side I know it's the front because I have my little progress keeper on here my little um, fox and I, it doesn't look like I progressed very far from the last time when I started this. But honestly, there are so many stitches on here that it's a lot. Um, I don't remember how many stitches I'm at, but it's like 260 or more. So it's a lot of stitches. It takes a little while to do a row. So I don't kill myself on this one. And I like it a lot because it's very easy TV knitting. Um, and it's, uh, it's a nice pattern. So I like this one and I'm hoping to get this one... I need to get like my, my mojo going and just nail some of these out but could because I want to uh, cast on other things like I've said I'm like so excited to cast on some things but I can't because I need to finish what I have on my needles at least that's what I'm telling myself but I don't know I might cast on just like I did that Spas Trico Shaw and then I'm still working on this Christmas present for Katie that I don't know if I'm going to finish or not, but I haven't even worked on it probably since the last time I talked to you. So this is a sleeve, but I have the front and the back done, and I did take her measurements yesterday, so I need to measure this and make sure that it will fit her, and then that might help decide whether or not I'm going to actually finish it. But this is the Hampton sweater, and it was a free pattern on Lion brand. And it's really, this is a black and white photo, so it's hard to tell, but I ordered the kit from Lion Brand, and it was only like $11 for the kit, and it came with all of the yarn, so it's it's acrylic, it's, it's an inexpensive sweater, but I mean, so far so good. I'm not loving the yarn, it's the Pound of Love, or Pound of, yeah, Pound of Love yarn. It's just a big, huge pound of yarn, and it's splitty and it's not that great but it's a good practicey kind of yarn and honestly the sweater will be all right I I don't know if you guys remember but I made her some Hastings mittens mm. that were blue and white and they were fingerless mitts and um, they were the pattern from Tracy on the uh, grocery girls and I told her they are wool I told her don't wash them she washed them and dried them. Thank goodness she has really small hands because she can still put them on and she still likes them, but they are a lot, lot smaller. They are like totally felted. Um, it's like the fabric is like super thick now. So that's what happens. And so I know that she wants to do the right thing with them, but she's, she forgets. So this yarn for her sweater will probably be okay just because she could throw it in the washer, no problem. So that's good. Um, what else do I have on my needles? Is that everything? That and that. Mm. I think there's still another shawl that I'm working on, but I haven't worked on that one for a little bit, so there's nothing else that's new that's progressing. Um, so I have my cast on ready for Christmas. I'm going to cast on a new sweater. I know that that's something that people have been doing. And um, it's either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I'm not sure what the normal is but whenever anytime between now and Christmas Day 
I'm going to cast this on and it's going to be a sweater for me and it's called the February Lady Sweater. And it's just a really cute cardigan that has buttons up here but then it opens and you just wear a shirt underneath it and it's a three quarter length sweater but I'm even kind of thinking I might make it short sleeved just so that I can wear it for a little bit longer since I'm going to have a shirt on underneath it since it's open here. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but that's one thing that I'm kind of thinking if I change anything. And I have it in my new bag, my Mrs. Brown's bag. You will be seeing a video on it. <laughs> so excited. I love it. It's so cushy and soft and nice and it's huge. So it's a sweater bag for sure. And I know you guys are going to be surprised, but I am using my Malabrigo Rios. And this is in the color English Rose. So this is the color of my sweater and I've gone ahead and caked up two of them so that they are ready to go when I am ready to cast on. So that is this. And um, again, I'm not going to cast on yet. I want to finish something before I do, um, but I am excited about that. And then I have a lot of things in my queue on Ravelry. Um, and I have been entering, I think I said this already, but I've been putting a ton of things on in my stash on Ravelry, like I've been entering all my yarn, and that has been wonderful. I'm finding that I really like that. I know that I mentioned this before, but for those of you that might be watching for the first time, or didn't, maybe didn't hear me last time, um, when you enter your things in Ravelry, you can go to your stash, and it will show you projects that people have made with that stash, or if you go to a project and you're looking for it, it will show you what yarns you have that will work for that project. It's a fabulous tool. I'm really excited about it. So I have been spending lots of time trying to get everything in there. I'm almost done. I'd say I probably have 90% of my stash in there. So I just have a few, well, I have a little bit left that I need to do. And hopefully I can get that done, maybe, maybe even today, I don't know. Um, it's not a priority right at this moment because I don't want to cast anything on, but it's nice to have it all in there so it's in there when you're ready for it. So that's that. Um, I know a couple things that I want to cast on um, are all by this Spas Trico. So that is one of my favorites. I wanted to tell you guys about them just because they are fabulous. They have a podcast and they are from Canada. It's two women that own a yarn shop and they are just classy. I love their style. I love what they make. One of them um, wears mostly gray and black and like makes mostly things that are very neutral. They're both pretty neutral, um, and but one of them has, adds a little pop of color, but they make beautiful, gorgeous things. Um, it's Melissa and Lisa. And um, Melissa seems to be the one that I like her style the best, although I love both of them, they're great. Uh, their personalities are wonderful and I think that you guys would enjoy them. But um, they just make such gorgeous things. And uh, there's two things on my cast on list that are from them that I really like to get started. One is called the Turtle Dove sweater and it's a free pattern and it is gorgeous. It's just a sweater and it's just a sweater. It's just a, like a plain sweater, but it's done with uh, wolf oak yarn which is another one of my favorites. That's the wolf oak is what I'm using for my cowl that I showed you, that black. This yarn is just amazing. And I think it's the same yarn in that turtle dove. I'll have to check, but, um, or you could check on Ravelry if you're interested in making it, but it is just beautiful. I know it's wolf oak. If it's not this one, it's a different one that's just as nice. And it has a beautiful halo. I don't know if you can see that but it's, it feels like it has some mohair in it. It is just wonderful. And from what I understand, they like make the yarn and then blow yarn inside of it somehow. I don't know, but it is wonderful and it feels so good in your hands. So I would definitely recommend that. That's definitely a favorite. And they have a new color work um, pattern set, I guess, out and it's all different sorts of things. There's mittens, there's a hat, there's cowl, there's um, a beautiful, like it's a turtleneck and then it goes down and covers your shoulders. 
That's called the Stoneham, and that's what I am dying to cast on. I am obsessed with that thing. It looks just gorgeous. It's like a sweater almost without arms. I mean, it just goes down to, it's cropped, so like just under your breasts probably, but it is just really cute, or maybe even above them. I don't know. I haven't seen the pattern yet. I haven't purchased it, but I am ready to. Um, let's see. The Leaf Baby Sweater I finished, the Hohe Shawl I'm still working on, the Dreidel one, I'm still working on the Messenger, the Hammond, the, oh, the, and the Golden Hour. Oh, another thing that I finished, I knew there had to be um, more. I finished all of these washcloths and I will put a picture on that too. I gave those as gifts for Christmas for most of the people at work. So I made each of them two washcloths and I made a total of, I think, 10 washcloths. So. That took a little bit of time too, but they did turn out really well. So I guess there was more that I had done. Um, yeah, so that's about everything. And yeah, so I'm gonna cut this one a little bit shorter than usual, but I don't have a ton to say, and since my husband just woke up, I will talk to him for a little bit. And, I hope that you guys have a great week. I will be back probably before Christmas. Today is the 15th, so there's 10 days. I'll probably be back right around Christmas, so maybe I will cast on with you next time. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.